हाई फ्रेंड्स जय हियर अगेन सो आई एम मेकिंग दिस मास्टर क्लास एक्चुअली फ्रॉम माई कार एंड आई हेड प्रोमिस्ड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी डूइंग दिस मास्टर क्लास राइट सो दिस इज अ मास्टर क्लास विच इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन एम टी फॉलिकल सिंड्रोम नाउ एम टी फॉलिकल सिंड्रोम इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी रेयर सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट राइट वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट एम टी फॉलिकल सिंड्रोम इज गोइंग टू हैपन टू यू जस्ट मे बी वन और टू टाइम्स इन अ ईयर right that is important that too if you are a very busy ivf unit like let's say if you are doing close to 2000 stimulations in a year then probably one or two days are going to be or one or two occasions are going to be such that you are going to have empty follicles all right so the most important criteria is that the patient should be a normal responder it should not be a poor responder this is a patient who is a normal responder where you are expecting let's say good number of oocytes estradiol levels are good and then you have empty follicles that is important if you have a poor responder and you say you did not get oocytes and the follicles are empty that doesn't really qualify to be empty follicle syndrome the most common reason what we know or what we do as a referral unit because we get referred with lots of patients who have had empty follicle syndrome and then somebody counsels them stating that look when you had an empty follicle syndrome it means that your oocytes were not very good maybe now is the time that you need to opt in for donor program and right because we do not do that because we are only doing self cycle treatments that is when usually patients are going to come to us right so one of the most important things which people should understand is that in empty follicle syndrome most of the times the problem is in the trigger now when we talk of trigger people like to give hcg as a trigger and what is important to understand is that quite a lot of times there could be some batches and some vials of hcg which are very very heat sensitive this is thing people don't know look hcg needs to be kept in an environment which is at 2 to 8 degrees celsius sometimes what happens is if the trigger is given at night patients may not preserve it correctly patient may not have a good cold chain with them and that is going to denature the hcg that is when you get an empty follicle syndrome despite giving an hcg trigger in a normal responder with good estradiol it has got nothing to do with the oocyte quality but this is the most common cause of getting empty follicle syndrome in our country right now let's assume that's not the case let's assume that you've given a decapeptyl trigger with uh, 0.3 or 0.2 decapeptyl and you've still got empty follicle syndrome now that's is something which qualifies as a genuine empty follicle syndrome all right so one of the things which you can try differently for patients with empty follicle syndrome and trust me it works beautifully well is that when you have these patients do not let the lead follicle grow beyond 16 mm ensure that your lead follicle is at 16 mm when you are giving the trigger do not let it happen that the lead follicle is 18 19 mm and then you are triggering this is one thing which is going to help you change the outcomes for empty follicles the other thing which people are worried and there is a theory which exists around this is that when you have an empty follicle syndromes the follicles are going to undergo atresia apoptosis one of the way of recovering them is actually by triggering them slightly early at 16 mm that's a very important thing remember after 15 mm you are usually going to get metaphase 2 oocytes because the amount of receptors which are present on the follicles are good enough all right but this is one key thing which you have to remember as a part of your practice that when you are having a genuine empty follicle syndrome you can try to do this in your patient right let's assume you've done that and still the patient is complaining of the same problem okay in that situation you must opt in for a double stimulation we've had multiple instances where patients have referred to us after doing this and this is what we have found is working consistently well and one final thing if you are giving hcg trigger and in your hcg trigger if you found out that on the day of your stimulation on the day of egg pick up what has happened is that the size of the follicles is good but your embryologist or your biologist reports to you stating that look now the follicles are empty in your first first 
वन और टू एस्पिरेशन प्लीज डू अ बीटा एच सी जी इफ यू फाइंड अंडर एनी सर्कमस्टांसिस दैट द बीटा एच सी जी वैल्यू इज लेस देन वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड गिव अ रेस्क्यू ट्रिगर टू द पेशेंट गिव अ रेस्क्यू एच सी जी टेन थाउजेंड एंड स्केड्यूल अ पिकअप अगेन आफ्टर थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स एंड इन सम इंस्टेंसिस दो वेरी रेयरली इन सम इंस्टेंसिस यू विल गेट अ गुड आउटकम Now, since we are a referral unit for empty follicle syndrome, we end up handling one to two empty follicle syndromes every month. And fortunately, in approximately fifty-five to seventy percent of them, we are then able to retrieve oocytes, and then give these patients good quality embryos using their own eggs. So, I hope you guys have found this masterclass to be interesting. Thank you so much for listening to me.